Leader of the House, awkward. the member will then resume his seat. The member of Greenland will resume his seat. Is leave granted? We leave is not granted. I call the Honourable the Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. For almost 20 years, Section 18C of the Racial Discrimination Act has protected the Australian community from the divisive and destructive effects of racially motivated hate speech while preserving freedom of speech. Why is the Prime Minister weakening decades of protections against racial hate speech? And does the Prime Minister agree with the Attorney General when he said today in the Senate, and I quote, people do have a right to be bigots? Oh. I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Uh, well, Madam Speaker, of, of course, of course, this government is determined to try to ensure that Australia remains a free and fair and tolerant society where bigotry and racism has no place. Of course, of course. But we well, also, we Madam Speaker, left, the question want been this asked, country the Prime has the call. to be a nation where freedom of speech and that is enjoyed. The member for Jagger Jagger. Where freedom of speech is enjoyed. And sometimes, and and sometimes Madam Morton. Speaker, free speech will be speech which upsets people. Uh, which uh, offends people. It is in the nature of free speech that sometimes some people will not like it. It is the nature of free speech that sometimes people won't like it. There'll be silence Madam Speaker, on my left. Madam Speaker, I don't, I don't like what Isaacs. members opposite say quite a lot, Madam Speaker. Uh, and Madam, but Madam Speaker, I fully accept. I fully accept. They're right to say it. Now, Madam Speaker, on the Prime Minister will resume his seat. What, on a point of order, the manager of opposition. Yeah, on, on relevance, Madam Speaker, it it's is extraordinary for the Prime Minister. It is extraordinary. Question. Madam Speaker, I have a point of order. You've just raised a point of relevance. The question. The no, Madam, Madam Speaker. The manager of opposition business has raised his point of order. Huh? No, Madam Speaker, I've told you what standing order it's under. I want to raise what the point is. 104 is relevant. It is clearly irrelevant George for the Prime Minister says. to be defending comments within this chamber to bigotry. There is this no question is about the attorney the defending bigotry. The member will resume his seat. He knows perfectly well he may not use the standing orders for debate. The Prime Minister has the call. Well, Madam Speaker, our, our freedom and our democracy fundamentally depends upon the right to free speech. And Madam Speaker, sometimes, sometimes free Isaac speech will, will be something that people who listen to it do not like. That is the truth, Madam Speaker. That is the truth. Now, Madam Speaker, we will do, Member for we will do will this assist. government will do exactly what we said we would do pre-election. We will do in government exactly what we committed to in opposition, and in opposition before the election we said that we will repeal section 18C in its current form. That's what we said we, will do, we would do before the election. That, as the Australian people would expect, is exactly what we will do after the election. This is a government which keeps its commitment, and this was a clear commitment that we made. The Honourable Member for Tangney. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question he says it's against is to the Minister. Uh, rising cost of living, but he votes against the carbon tax being repealed in Canberra because, Madam Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition is the Mr. Potato Head of Australian politics. He's the Mr. Potato Head. You can put whatever face uh, you like. The Member, the member the will opposition. resume his seat. The Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. The Minister will resume his seat. The Manager of Opposition Business on a point of order. Point of order, Madam Speaker. If this is an example of the adults being in charge, the Minister should be oh, sat yeah. down. <laughs> That is no point of order, and the manager of opposition business will not misuse the standing orders, or he will leave the chamber. The Minister for Education has no, the Madam call. Madam Speaker, I'm sorry if it offends the Leader of the Opposition to be referred to as Mr Potato Head, and I'm happy to withdraw the illusion. Perhaps he'll be happy with the illusion the of Hugo, for, the man of a thousand faces, which those of us from 1975 would remember very fondly. The uh, member for Graindler. Madam Speaker, how is it that, uh, given the manager of opposition business's point of order, which you was did... not a point of order, it was a point of order. It was not a point of order. It the was member a point will resume his seat, and will not argue with the chair. The member will resume his seat. The m then state it. Well, if he sits down, I'll, I'll state it. The minister sit will down. sit down. The member for Greenland. Sixty-five. Good for you. 
The member for uh, Leader of Opposition, the Minister for Education, will continue. Uh, the uh, Leader of the Opposition. Madam Speaker, you are casting this House into disrepute when you allow him to carry on. The Leader of the Opposition will, will withdraw those remarks or leave the chamber. I will withdraw, and that's what you should make this side of the House do. The Leader of the Opposition will withdraw unconditionally. I withdraw unconditionally. Now, the Leader, the leader of the House and Minister for Education will withdraw. And I've already withdrawn. I have already withdrawn. I said I, I withdraw unconditionally. And perhaps if the Leader of the Opposition doesn't the like the illusion. Minister for Education has the call. If he doesn't like the illusion, he can go back further in time to 1975 with Hugo, the man of a thousand faces. There was another one that you could add any face you like to. The minister, the minister will return to the question. And over that side of the, the house, minister will resume his seat. The, uh, the manager of opposition business on the point of order. Madam Speaker, I raise the most fundamental of all the points of order, which is your role in preserving the dignity of this house and ask you to do so. Well, it would help if there was dignity on both sides of the house. The minister has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The, member, the minister will resume his seat. Point of order, Madam Speaker, is that your argument that you take the reference to your participation based on the debate you see before you? The manager of opposition business will resume his seat. The minister of education has the call. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'm trying to put into context, Madam Speaker. I'm trying to put into context that the problem with the leader of the opposition is that he has one position, depending on whatever, whatever audience he's talking to. Wherever he is in Australia, he has a different position. Whatever audience he's talking to, he has a different position. Because he's not no longer the faceless man of Australian politics, Madam Speaker. He's the two-faced man of Australian politics. He has a different position wherever he is in the country. And, uh, Madam Speaker, he needs to show the some minister substance. Minister will resume his seat. And if the member for Grainler is going to raise argument instead of a straight point of order, he will resume his seat. I'm raising a straight point of order, Madam Speaker, about members being addressed by their name. Correct. And, and, and you should uphold that. Indeed, yep. I do. And that is, sounds no, like don't. a reflection on the chair, and you'll withdraw it. Withdraw the reflection on the chair. Oh. You've got it. It was, it was a point of order. What was the reflection, Madam Speaker? The reflection you made went about the chair. It, I didn't make a reflection, it. Madam Speaker. I said the, the member will resume his seat. The Leader of the Opposition. Thank you. My question is to the Prime Minister. I refer to concerns raised by Senator Heffernan, the Prime Minister's representative on the Liberal Party's Nomination Review Committee, about the activities of the former Assistant Treasurer Senator Sinodinus and Australian Water Holdings. Did Senator Heffernan ever raise his concerns with the Prime Minister before Senator Sinodinus was appointed to the Abbott Ministry? The Leader of the House. Madam Speaker, I refer you There'll to page silence. 554 there. of House of Representatives' practice. The Minister will, which... the minister will pause. There will be silence on my left. The member for Morton. The Leader of the House. Madam Speaker, I refer you to page 554 of the House of Representatives Practice, which states that a minister can only be questioned on matters for which he or she is responsible or officially connected. And the first dot point to indicate questions or parts of questions that have been ruled out of order are the statements, activities, actions or decisions of a minister's own party or its conferences, officials, representatives or candidates or of those of other parties. I'd put it to you, Madam Speaker, that the question that was put to the Prime Minister is not within his area of responsibility, and former speakers the, have ruled the, out of order questions to do with internal the the party matters. And the therefore, the I believe the question is out of To the point of order, the Manager of Opposition Business. Madam Speaker, it would be extraordinary to rule that the Prime Minister is not responsible for who he appoints to his ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the question, as it was put uh, in the words that the Leader of the Opposition used, Related to uh, a party political appointment, not to a ministerial appointment. The manager of opposition business will resume his seat. Now, if the leader of the opposition wishes to rephrase his question so as not to uh, offend the standing orders, he may do so. 
Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. I think we all know what the issue that I'm asking about is. Did Senator Heffernan ever raise his concerns with the Prime Minister before Senator Senadinos was appointed to the Abbott Ministry? I give the call to the Honourable the Prime Minister. Madam Speaker, the important issue here is the maintenance of high standards in public life. And I have to say, Madam Speaker, that by stepping aside from his ministry while this matter is being investigated, Senator Sinodinus upheld, upheld the very Prime best Minister of the Westminster Treaty. The manager of opposition business on a point of order. Mine's outrageous. Madam Speaker, it is not good enough under section understanding order 104 for the Prime Minister when anything is asked about Arthur Sinodinus to give the same now. answer. The Prime Minister, as, as you well know, the, the uh, answers are not governed by the same rules as questions, and the, the Prime Minister is answering the question as has been asked. Now he's had several seconds into the uh, or a minute into the question. Well, I expect he's in the final moments of the I answer. I call the like honourable the Prime Minister. The, <laughs> the member for Watson will resume his seat. Madam Speaker, as for the matters raised by the Leader of the Opposition, I just don't comment on scuttlebutt. Oh.